Here's my shape. I'd love you to draw it, include those measurements now that I've fixed them. What's the name of this shape? What's the name of this shape? It's a, I can hear it, triangular prism, okay? All of the shapes we're going to look at in the next little bit are prisms. We name the prism after its... Because that's the important feature about a prism, remember? All the cross sections here are going to be triangles. You can cut it other ways, you just won't get the same cross section, so that's why we don't worry about those. Okay, it's a triangular prism. What I'm going to do is I want to think about the net of this shape. I don't have to think about it all in one piece, right? That's okay. I just need to make sure I don't miss any of the sides. So with your diagram there, make it nice and decent in terms of size. If you have another colour there, that'll be useful. How many faces are there? Can you count it? I count one, this big one right in the front, two, the one on the bottom, three, the back, and then four and five are the ends. Do you agree with me? Do you see five as well? Okay. Now, just a bit of a tip. We said it was a triangular prism, right? Triangular prism. The triangle is going to give you three. And then because it's a prism, there's going to be two ends. Three plus two. Okay. You can count it manually every time if you like, but just suppose you had not a triangular prism, but a hexagonal prism. Hexagonal prism. Without drawing it, could you count? How many faces are you going to get? The hexagon will give you six faces, and then there's a front and a back. So you'd have eight in total. Does that make sense? Just a bit of a shortcut for you. Okay, we've got five faces. We want to make sure we capture each of them, right? Um, I'm going to label them. So I'm going to call this one uh, the front over here. you got the bottom. You've got the back. And then, rather than call this like another name, because this is so important to the shape, I'm going to call this guy the cross section. Because after all, it is a triangular prism, right? So the triangle is the cross section. Okay? Now, uh, there are five faces, but I've only labeled four of them. Why is that? Because, yeah, Daniel. Because it's certain that the cross section will be the same um, all the way through. Fantastic. Okay. If the cross section is there on the this side, it's going to be there on the back as well. You don't need to do it again. You just double whatever that happens to be. So far, so good. Okay. So let's just do this one at a time. The cross sections on the front. It's a triangle. So the area of the cross section is okay. Think area of a triangle. What's our formula again? Yeah, I can. Half base times height. Half base times height. Okay? You can write the formula if you like, but these numbers are pretty simple. They're all just sitting there. So I'm going to go half 7 times 24. You okay with that? Yeah. Can you just do, since there are two of them, can you just do 7 times 24? Ah, I'm glad you asked that. By the way, before I answer that question, I left something off this diagram. A right angle. We'll need that. Um, the question was, since there's two of them, do I have to do the half? Can't I just go straight to 7 times 24? Hmm. My short answer for that is, yes you can if all that matters to you is the number you get at the end. Because 2 times a half times 7 times 24 is the same as 7 times 24, right? But it's not just the number at the end that matters to me. And it shouldn't be just the number that matters to you. I need to see how you got there, right? That's half times 7 times 24. And there's two of them. Eventually the two and the half cancel. But I want to see you thinking. I want to see you communicating. I know there are two sides, and I know what each area is. Does that make sense? So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to say half times 7 times 24. Half times 24 is 12. So 7 times 12 is 7 times tables. I think that's 84. And my units are square centimeters. Alright, I started with the cross section because I got all those measurements there. I also have all the measurements on the bottom. So I'm going to say area of the bottom. Look carefully at your diagram. What are the measurements that are relevant? 7 and 40. 7 and the 40. And what kind of shape is it? Rectangle. It's just a rectangle, so it's just uh, length times breadth. That's it. So 7 times 40. 7 times 40? 280. Very good. Okay, done the cross section, done the area at the bottom. The area on the back, 
I also have all the measurements there. It's not quite as obvious. The area on the back, that's this rectangle that's standing up. What's the height of that rectangle? 24. It's 24, you can see it there. What about the width across the bottom? 40. It's still 40, yeah? So therefore, the area of the back is going to be the 24 you set up here and the 40 you set over here. 24 times 40. 960. 960. Right, fire. Good job, guys. Okay, I've just got one of the faces left, the front. Can anyone tell why I left it till last? Yeah, Agni. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing a measurement, aren't I? It's a rectangle. I know how wide it is, but I do not know what this measurement here is, right? But I can work it out. How am I going to do it? I've got, this, remember I said, this right angle triangle is going to be important to me. So I've got to work this out. 7 squared plus 24 squared, I happen to know, is 625. Does anyone know what 625 is the square of? 25. 25. So you, of course, I don't expect you to work that out in your head. You've got a calculator there. But that'll be 25 centimetres. Okay? Once you work that out, I highly encourage you to put that onto a diagram. I've run out of space over here, but you should keep going down the page. The area of the front, therefore, is going to be... 25 times 40, right? And that's exactly 1,000. Fantastic. Okay, got all my pieces. I'm ready to bring it all together. The total area. Okay. Uh, remember that cross section? How many of those do I have again? Two. two of them. Fantastic. So two of the cross section plus every other number I worked out. 280. 960 and 1000. Yeah? Hmm. I didn't expect that in your head. Do you want to punch that into your calculator and tell me what number you think? Has anyone got it yet? 600. 600. Anyone there? Say it again a bit louder. 2,400. 2,400 and. 8. 8. Thank you. Can I get some agreement on that? Someone yeah. else got that? Yep. Good job. 